Yo, so now that we are done with our time intelligence, so the next thing to explore is the variance, right? So I'm going to start variance by writing like a month to month or year on year so you can see how I'm comparing um, two things, right? So I'm going to go here and click on um, new measure. Remember I said, uh, I said I'm also going to introduce um, variables to you. So those are new to variable in DAX. I'm also going to introduce variable to you. So let me write my measure. I want to start with um, profit month to month, right? And you can go to the next line in DAX by holding your shift enter so you go to the next line so you make your dash uh, writing very uh, simple and then uh, very easy so the first thing i'm going to do you know to compare two things month on month is basically last month versus this month so i'm going to write last month first and i'm going also going to write um, probably this month so it's easy for me to compare two of them so i'm going to declare a variable so when you type var index var is just you declaring a variable to say okay so i want you to hold this particular measure inside the same measure right but this is not global which means you can't use it in another measure you can only use it inside this one measure so what i'm going to start is i'm going to write a measure called previous month right and i will say calculate right uh what do i want to calculate i want to calculate my profit right so which is the uh, this profit profit comma and the filter i'm going to use there is date hard right for those that need to date add it helps you move the given set of date by specific by a specified interval so i'm going to use date hard i'm going to put date inside there date right comma what is the interval number of interval that's minus one because i want to move back and what do you want to move by that's months right because i want to do previous month i'll close my bracket for date add and also close my bracket for calculate so i have successfully written the previous month so the next thing i may want to write is probably let me declare another variable is uh, current month right cm so i'm going to call that cm current month and what is my current month my current month does not require any calculation it's just my profit and that's the profit that i've been using right this profit that's just it right because i already have a measure for it so the next thing i'm going to do every variable you declare we we, we have return you must always return right because when you de declare a variable you must return the variable so i'm going to move to return so now i'm ready to return right and what do i want to return i just want to say previous month which is pm you can see it here pm uh uh, uh or i will start with cm sorry cm which is current month divided by previous month um minus one and that is actually the calculation for variance this is the calculation for variance current month divided by uh, previous month minus one but if you want to get rid of all those infinity you know that some infinity that may come up or all those zeros that may come up i always advise you use the standard of saying if a condition of if and hand and what does and do and just make sure that it only perform the calculations when there is a value in either the current month and the previous month so it doesn't give us infinity so i'm going to say current month cm comma pm so what i'm doing here is i'm saying that if the current month and the previous month is available that is when you should do the calculation which is current month divided by previous month right minus one and i'm going to close my bracket then if it's not available don't do anything that's just what it is so basically this is just saying that if current month and previous month is available right you can say i close the bracket for hand don't do this mistake when you open the bracket for hand close the bracket for hand then you put your comma and you now say current month divided by previous month minus one then you close your bracket and hit enter so right now i have successfully uh, written by first variance measure which is the profit month to month so the next one i'm going to write is probably just to show you an example again i'm going to write the um uh, profit um year on year as well so you see how year on year we work but year on year is uh, kind of almost the same but before even i write year on year let me just write one more month to month let me do sales month to month but i can copy this formula as well because they are similar and come here and do right click do new measure again and paste it here so since what i want this time is sales month to month so i'm going to change this to sales then i will come here change my profit here to also sales i think i have total sales yep total sales i'm still talking about last month so i'll leave this one then the current month will also be sales right sales no not sales ytd just sales total sales yep now what i just did by changing those things this t work because it's a variable i declare 
previous month as was coming out. So I've successfully written sales for sales month to month, right? This is sales month to month. So the next one I will challenge you to create on your own is probably um, transaction count month to month. But let me just quickly do that quickly so you see how I'm going to do that. So right click again uh, this and the new measure, and then I'm going to paste it here, probably here. So I'm going to say transcant transcant mohm so i'm going to change this to transaction count this is calculate transaction count right and also change this to transaction count as well so you can see i'm only changing two things transaction count and transaction count right and hit enter and that is my transaction count month on month being um written and that month on month that we want to write is the unit sold month on month so let me right click also a uh, new measure so and i'm going to paste what i have here so i'm going to rename this as unit sold sorry unit sold month to month so i'm going to change this to unit sold total unit sold and also this to um total unit sold right so right now i successfully written um my unit sold month to month uh, calculation as well. So the next one I will write is probably the year on year. So the year on year will be similar to this. The only thing you will change is a little bit, uh, just a little bit different, right? So if I want to do a year on year for the unit sold month to month. Let me copy this formula and um, come here and do new measure, new measure, paste it here. So this, what I'm writing now is year on year, YOY. So what I'm just going to change basically for this is the month. So remember I said, month here so instead of month it's going to be year so by changing year alone this as well for the entire formula for unit sold month to month right and i'm going to hit enter and that is it for unit sold if i want to do the same thing for profit i'll just go to profit month to month copy the measure that is there copy it do a new measure a new measure uh paste it here just change this month to to year right and that is my uh, profit here on here. So let me change this to YUY as well. YUY. Enter. And that is my profit here on here. What else? What else do I have? I think I have sales month on month. So let me do the same thing for sales. I'm going to right click. Uh, copy this month on month for sales. New measure. Then paste this. And then change this YUY month on month to YUY. Right? Year on year. And change this month to year. Right? Year and enter. And I think I have one more, one more, one more. The last one, I've done sales, I've done profit, I've done transaction, okay, I've not done transaction count, I've done units. So, so, for, so for transaction count, I select the month or month of the transaction count, copy it, uh, right click, new measure, and then paste it here, paste it here, and then change this to YOY, and also this to um, year, all right? So I have successfully written all my variance, my time intelligence, and my anchor measure. But one thing I will also advise is that the measure is already looking messy here. So there's a way you can actually um, kind of uh, rearrange your measure. So everything here makes sense. So the way you do that is go to your model view. Then for your model view, we can arrange things that are anchor should be together, and things that are time intelligence should be together, and things that are um, variance should be together. So like this is anchor. So you hold your control. You select all your anchor. So profit is anchor. Um, my what is this? Also anchor. My total sales is anchor. Total units sold is anchor. Total transaction count is anchor. So once you select all those ones that are anchors like that, you come to this place called display folder and you give it a name. So I'm going to say anchor, right? And hit enter. Once I do that, you will see they will all go inside one folder. So I just created a folder for that. Then for my time intelligence, I think I just have only two time intelligence, which is the YTD uh, for profit and the YTD for sales, right? Or select the two and come here and type time intelligence. You can actually write more time intelligence, right? Just for your practice. And this is it here. Now for the variance, I'm going to hit control again and select all of them. Hold control, select all of the the variance, I think I've selected all of them, and come here and just type um, variance, right? I've also put all of them into um, a bucket called variance. Now, since I have the anchor of all these my numbers, I don't actually need them, so I can hide them. So you can hold control, select, select, 
select everything you don't need all these numbers i don't need them even the retail id i don't need it it's just an id so but i need the location i, I don't need the location key too even the invoice date i can always get that from my um calendar right but the retailer and product since i don't have it from um somewhere else i can always um leave it and sales method so for this one i'll just select is eating for everything that i selected and those are the things i don't need so if you want to unhide them you can always right click and say unhide uh, or hide or or just unhide just in case you actually made a mistake so if i go back to my report view you will see it's more i have my report is more structured now if you look at my data sets that it has you see i have a folder called hancock which has all of my anchor measures. I have a folder called time intelligence, which has all my time intelligence. Now we folder called variance, which have all my variance reports. So that is it. The next thing we're going to do now, since we've done all our calculations, is to dive into reporting proper.